Oh, hey guys. So I'm gonna do a sewing video and I just want to apologize for my ugly hands, my toddler fat chubby little hands that don't have nails on them because I ripped them off too soon and didn't put a new set on so if you make fun of my hands, fuck off and fuck you. So I'm sewing a mask because um, my SO needs one and he wants a thick one with more than two layers which is what I've been sewing them with I've been using muslin and other various fabrics but this COVID is getting out of control up here in our mountain town so I'm gonna make him a mask with four layers of cotton and I think he'll feel good about that I'll show you what fabric I'm using this like kind of hunter themed plaid with some deer on it and I thought that looked really cool since we moved up here to the mountains and we actually have deer. So I got my four layers. I'm gonna put my design face first. And this is my sewing machine. This is a Conso Industrial Zigzag and Straight Stitch. Right now it is set to a straight stitch, so I can go ahead and get this started. I make my mask a little differently than most people. And honestly, that's because I want them to fit every button like the way they should and not have your chin hanging out or your big ass nose hanging out or whatever. Um, <clears throat> one thing about my machine is that it's better as a zigzag because it just is, I guess. Whenever I set it to straight stitch, it gets really finicky with the tension. So, that's fucking stupid. But that's my life. Okay. I didn't even check to see if the camera was shaking because of my machine. <laughs> Sorry about that. Not really though. Um, so I went ahead and stitched um, three sides, not four, because I'm going to turn this inside out. And the style that I make my mask in honestly is kind of mimicked off of the way <clears throat> those cheapy ones are that you see in the emergency room that really aren't meant for keeping viruses away. It's just like a way to get into the store and get your food. Okay, whatever. What the fuck am I doing? So, here's my mask. It's a square. I know. So I'm gonna like pinch. <laughs> and then I'm gonna pin. <laughs> I'm losing my voice. And then I'm going to pinch again, and I'm going to pin. It's my drunk L.A. mom voice. And I'm going to try not to stab my fucking self. Oh my god, I'm going to stab myself, you guys. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> so now I have that. <laughs> I basically made two folds to make my mask so it looks more like a surgeon's mask I guess I don't know whatever I just like them like this I feel like they fit everybody and they're not too constrictive to where you feel like you're choking to death so that's another reason I really I didn't even pin that right can you, can you believe that crap I literally was gonna show that with it not pinned right like a stupid fuck Stupid fuck life. Okay. Can you just please get the fuck in there? This is why I don't make sewing videos, because it's just 
me being a stupid buffoon fucking up all the time and having to fix my mistakes constantly. <sighs> so because I want this to look kind of decorative and also kind of ghetto at the same time, I am going to set this to a zigzag stitch actually. Just need to adjust it. My arms hairy? They're hairy, huh? And then... Let's see what happens. So I don't know if you can see that, that zigzag stitch. I don't know, I just like zigzag stitches. I think it looks industrial and I just like it. I think my fashion line is going to be primarily a lot of zigzag stitching. I just think it's just like zigzags. I just don't know why. Alright, now I'm going to zigzag down this end because there's the uh, little pleats that I made and I'll show you how I finish off this raw edge on the top. Okay, cool. So now you can take out your pins because everything's sewed down and you're going to have something like that. Oh, my frizzy little side curly hairs. You don't want to see that crap. Okay. Now, I'm going to like kind of trim off all these little thingies here that are just, just bugging me because I have OCD and the kind of anxiety where you procrastinate and you don't do shit for long periods of time. And here I am, like, just thankful, like, oh, he's so to math today. <sighs> Should we do more? I can always do more. All right, so what I did was I just folded this over twice, and I'm just going to zigzag over it. And then we'll be done with the actual mask, and I'll add on the elastic later because honestly his head is like a crazy size and I just can never get it right I just can never like sew a mask that fits him correctly so he just needs to be here okay I can't seem to do this right now do you see this nonsense you see this crap it takes me forever to do anything it's just fuck okay I shouldn't cuss but I do All right. So whenever I'm sewing something really narrow like this, something really small and detailed, I'm not a hero or anything. I always put my finger really close. You see where my presser foot is? Not like that close, but usually like an inch or an inch and a half. And I'll press my seam down. And even though this tends to take longer, at least I know I didn't mess it up and then have to do it like again. Like I usually have to do things again and again and again because my life is like 80% mistakes I have to keep fixing. Oh, it's very tiring. Whoa! <laughs> she goes fast, you guys. <laughs> She's a fast type of girl. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm like constantly like pulling this back in and tucking it in because like I said, I don't want to have to undo this and do it again because that's a stupid way and it, maybe this year we won't do things the stupid way. Well, that's it. 
So that's my mask with the zigzag stitch and it's got the pleats and depending on the person you're making it for I highly recommend folding this in half like this <clears throat> after the person's tried it on and then if you need to you can add a dart here to help with the chin to make sure it fits better on the face I hope you enjoyed that. It was probably horrible, and I'm really sorry. Um, you know, like, I do my best. Alright, later. Focus on something else later.